What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Powerwall Play with CJ. I want to focus in on the New York Islanders re-signing Brock Nelson to a three-year deal that'll pay him $2.5 million per season right before the deadline to, uh, to sign was uh, for the New York Islanders team imposed deadline, which is bullshit, but that's a different story. Um, you know, good to have Nelson back in the phone. This is a pretty reasonable contract from both sides. I mean, I, I think the uh, Islanders get a, a legitimate, you know, 20 goal, 45 point guy for 2.5 million, and Nelson gets the longevity, I'm not, the, the length of the term that he wanted. If anything, I, I take it back and it favors the Islanders more because it's. You know, I figured he would have taken a one-year deal or whatever, and then tried to play himself into a bigger contract. But a three-year deal, two point five million, not the worst, not the worst scenario in the world. This guy would just get ready for camp and the uh, the big move to Brooklyn. Um, and again, you know, he definitely showed flashes last year. He can be a, a really, really good top nine, even top six forward. Um, you know, the in you know they draft him in the first round for a reason. Kevin Connolly actually from Entourage, E actually announced with the draft in Los Angeles that year, but, you know, he was definitely a, uh, a guy that they've, you know, let take, it takes time and develop into a legitimate, um, you know, NHL forward, and, you know, he's got some size, good offensive abilities, and, uh, uh, you can just really use him anywhere in the lineup, uh, you know, you put him up on the wing on one of the top lines, have him center on the third line, you know, he's got a lot of versatility, good hockey IQ, and he's going to be a guy you're hearing from for a long time. I think it's not unreasonable for him to post 50 points next year. But, uh, you know, I'll see how it all shakes up. I just think from the Islanders' perspective, it's good that the deal's done. You know, it's finally like, alright, it's out of the way. Let's focus on the hockey games. And the Islanders are, you know, one of the trendier picks in the NHL to, you know, go pretty far. Uh, maybe even win the Eastern Conference. So having Nelson in the fold and not having the saga drag on is... Uh, you know, it is definitely beneficial to both parties. Anyway, that's our next episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episode throughout the off season and beyond. Later, guys.